Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today we're having an exclusive look at Yuki. This game is coming to Quest 2, the Rift S and the PC very soon. It's by one of my all-time favourite developers. These are the developers who did Pixel Ripped. So you know it's going to be really, really good. I have to admit guys, I've been playing in the beta. I love the beta. I know what to expect. So let's dive in. Okay. Be aware of your surroundings. I'm playing in my bedroom. So this is like an anime bullet hell type of game. And it's really, really addictive. Yuki Okay, so we're going to jump into settings We have uh, sound effects and music Controller settings here. I'm right-handed And we're going straight into uh, patrol mode Okay guys, I'm in my cute little bedroom. It's pink and everything Got this amazing telescope here, look. And it looks like we're watching balloons. There's my pink bed. My goldfish over there. Okay, do I need to uh, feed the goldfish? <laughs> so we've got a little box here we need to open. This is my character. And your character gets stronger and stronger throughout the game as you progress. You get power-ups, that sort of thing. This is one of those games you control the character with your hand, guys. Your hand is uh, controlling the character. Okay, let's go. Hello. Okay, let's do a check. Ready to roll. I'm always ready. And the animation looks amazing, guys. Look at this. Collect all the orbs. So we need to avoid the bullets, so don't let the bullets hit your character look. I'm moving my hand look, so I'm actually moving, controlling yeah. the character through the level. And this is a really instinctive and novel way to play this type of game in VR. Okay, I can see her health bar there, look. Grab the health bars. Uh -huh. And we're back to full health. Hmm. Okay, we need to kill the enemies, so shoot the bad guys. Avoid the bullets and grab all the power ups. Ha ha. Hmm. Okay, activate the shield so we can block incoming attacks. Hmm. 
and my shield's recharging, look. Uh, so my character on the left hand, my guide, has got some freeze bombs. They are now frozen, so we can dispatch them quickly. And my freeze bomb's got like a time limit as well. So you have to allow your abilities to um, power back up. It feels really nice when you shoot in, you can feel the haptic feedback on the triggers, guys. Okay, here we are. So, try to collect as many of these as you can. And this is one of those games, this game's really good for a good workout. Shoot the bad guys. And these worlds, guys, are amazing. Like I said, I've been playing in the beta. And I love these worlds. I love what they've been doing with the game. The game's really addictive. If you've never tried these bullet hell games, I would say this is probably the one to, uh, to try. Grab the power up. Okay. And we're going to select uh, fire rate, I think. So now I can fire faster. Oh, was close. Avoid the uh, scenery dropping. Okay, pod charge up. Let me go for the fire rate again. I'm going for maximum fire here. Ooh, that's awesome. And the game starts out pretty simple. It gets really hectic though, guys, as you can imagine. Shit, bad guys. This game becomes a treat for your senses. It gets really trippy. It's like being on an awesome fun fair ride. Okay, I had to freeze them. Use my shield there. Okay, I got hit. I don't remember this in the beta. Crap. I'm gonna die. My shield's down. I'm dead. Don't give up. To the workshop. I think that was supposed to happen. Okay, that was supposed to happen. And the uh, graphics on the Quest 2 guys look amazing. This game looks just the same on the PC, on the Rift S. Okay. Okay, Pulp Collection. What are we going for? Go for fire rate. You will die a lot, but the aim of this game is to die and then to uh, power up your character. Try again. Uh, this is a good game for your hand-eye coordination. So never let people tell you video games are bad for you. Let me grab the power up. Shield charge. So my shields will charge up a bit faster now. And as you can see already, this level is a bit different. So that first level was just like a tutorial to get used to the uh, story. Grab all these. Yes, you can get damage from hitting the objects in the world. So try not to hit these objects, guys, with your hand. 
Okay, I've got like twin bullets now. So you can actually fly through the hole. Just don't let the uh, objects hit your character. Okay, we died again. New record. Back to the workshop. Okay, what's that? Okay, I'm going to uh, grab that. Okay, I've got a power up for my drone. I don't have enough for that one. This one I do have enough for. Charge shots. Okay, I've got 18 points left. I don't have enough for any more. So we're going to uh, jump back into the level. And as you can see guys, we've unlocked more power-ups for my character. And you can unlock different types of characters as well. So at the moment we're using the K1M1. And you need to complete levels to unlock the other characters. Okay, let's go. This is one of those games that will start out really hard until you get used to the... You need to learn to dodge bullets and shoot at the same time. But once you get used to it guys, it becomes uh, instinctive. So grab your points. The blue balls are like your currency. They allow you to buy better power. Okay, so here I need to avoid these uh, neon lights. Look, okay, we're going for fire rate. I like to get as much firepower as possible. So I've now picked up a special charge weapon back at the workshop and it does major damage on the uh, first shot. You'll see it powering up there, look. So now I've got this amazing boost when I shoot it. it does a lot of damage. Okay, avoid that. Let her charge up. There we go. Okay, we're going for drone. Let's grab a drone to help. Okay, I press my uh, freeze button there. I've got a little drone now. Can you see a little drone? Knee shooting as well. You can also use the objects to block the fire, the incoming fire of the bad guys. Okay, let's freeze them. Getting a bit hectic now. Got the health. My health's on full. And the game's got some really interesting level design, guys. Like I said, at times it feels like you're on a fun fair ride. We must keep going. Okay. Episode clear. Okay, episode clear. On to episode two. I can't stress enough, guys, how addictive this game is. Look at this place. Look. See what I mean about the graphics? There's my little drone firing. Look, I'm not even shooting. Okay, avoid all the bullets. Now, the quicker you shoot the bad guys, the quicker you stop the incoming fire. So if you see any bad guys in the distance, there's a cool, awesome dragon there. So I just saw a dragon go through the water. Huh? Yeah, the quicker you kill the bad guys, the quicker they stop firing. And as you can see, look, this is like quite challenging to dodge all the bullets. Always look ahead of you guys as well. I have to, uh, I'm going to let you into a little secret now guys, I've uh, been a volunteer for the uh, police for about 10 years now and I've done my uh, police training in a police car and they always teach you to always look ahead 
always look about four or five cars ahead. So I'm using that principle to look ahead of me right now in the game. I'm not looking at these aliens in front of me. I'm looking for any aliens coming up behind. Go for the fire rate. So I'm constantly watching in the distance to see what's happening. And that's part of my training. Okay, it doesn't matter if your head touches the objects. Just make sure your hand and your character don't touch the objects. And don't forget you've got those power-ups if you get into a bit of a pickle. Put my shield up. Block some of the incoming fire. I always look forward to the uh, power-ups coming up. Because they really help you in the game. Power-ups are your friend. So always grab the power-up lock. Let's go for some more health. Okay, freeze these guys. See what I mean? Look in the background, look. Shoot all those in the background. Always think ahead. And I just love this art style. If you're a fan of anime type games, you're going to love this game. That dragon looks amazing. And you can see my little drone firing lock. Okay, we need to kill these uh, pods. We're also being attacked. Kill the pods. There's one down. Incoming bullets. There's the dragon. The dragon's firing out these bullets. And if you've ever played these games, pancake mode. These games in VR look amazing. Okay, we need to take out the dragon. So this is the boss level. Freeze the characters. Mind the bullets. And if it gets a bit too hectic, I'm going to have to use my shield. Avoid all the patterns. Okay, I got hit there. Let me. And this game will give you a really good workout, like I said. You're constantly moving your body, your arms and everything. And it's good training on your brain as well. It boosts your hand-eye coordination, these types of games. Because you have to um, think in different dimensions. And always keep moving guys, these uh, the bad guys tend to aim where you're... So if you leave your hand in a certain spot, the bad guys will aim in that spot. Okay, the boss is dead. Level complete. My controllers are vibrating now. Grab all the loot. Grab the health. Yeah! And this world is all around you as well. I feel like I'm floating in a river. Episode clear. Episode clear. New blade wing unlocked. I've unlocked a new character, so we're going to go back to the workshop. Select the new character. Okay, let me uh, complete this level first. I'll select the new blade wing when I die, guys. Let's uh, try and do as much as this level as I can. Grab all the money. Avoid all these buildings. 
It's really strange when they come towards your face. Because we are so real guys, it feels like they're going to hit you and hurt. And you have to train your brain that these aren't, these are buildings are not going to hurt you. But well, they're so realistic, it's really strange. Grab the power up, okay. Let's go for the uh, fire rate again. Faster speed. Shield up. Okay, I'm dead. So we're going to go back to the workshop, select a different character, and we're going to uh, try that level again. New, record. New best score. Okay, I've got 178 points. We're going to go for, what's this one? Permanent health increase. This one is Choice Charm. Okay, Charms acquired. So I've got HP Charm. Okay. Okay, so we're going to select Tracking Star. She's got homing missiles. So we've now got a new character, guys. So let's try that level again. Okay, I love this uh, homing weapon. So as you can see, guys, I'm getting more and more powerful the more I play. I love this character's weapon. It's like a shooting star. And it locks in locks, a homing weapon. Okay, we're going for pod charge up. No, let's go for the fire rate again. As you can see, look, I've still got that booster type weapon. It does major damage. Do -do 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 -do. And I can't stress enough, guys, how addictive this game is. Really, really addictive. My freeze bomb is ready. My shield is ready. So with this character, I don't really have to worry about aiming. I can just shoot and fire. And they lock in, home in. Well, oh, nearly hit that. Grab the health. And we've got different waves coming in. The game gets harder and harder. Okay, we're going for drone again. Okay, let's freeze these guys. Try to get some sense of uh, normality. I've got my drone back. We must keep going. I love these drones, I want more drones. Power up. Level up. 
Let's go for max HP. This is quite a good game for people who play games sitting down. This is one of those games you can chill out to while sat down in the seat. I got hit there. If it starts to get too hectic, use your abilities like the freeze and the shield. Space. And I do like how this game lets you uh, fire around objects. I've played bullet hell games before in VR guys and this is very unique how it has objects coming towards you that you have to um, negotiate around. That's something really rare in these types of games and I do, I do appreciate it. It makes the game more varied. Let's go for the drone again. Should have two drones now. Okay. Okay, I should have two drones, guys. I've got two drones now, look. On my side, shooting bullets. Okay, we need to kill the uh, pods again. This is the boss level. And as you can see, I'm a bit more powerful now, so these are going down a lot, a lot faster. Okay, this one down. One left. And this is one of those games guys, you don't have to keep pressing your trigger. You can just hold your finger down on the trigger and it'll keep shooting for you. Look, I'm just pressing my button now and she's shooting away. Okay, that's him down, dragon time. Kill the dragon. And the game's running super smoothly, looks amazing. Okay, that hit me. That's not good. Shields up. Okay, we died and that just shows you how hard the game can be i'm going to leave it there guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe show to my little bell and i'll see you in the next one this game is out very soon keep an eye out for it on the uh, quest 2 store and on the rift store and i do believe it's on steam as well so see you later bye